Not a sneakerhead. I, I pretty much just kind of waver in that master of none. You know what I mean? Jack of all trades. I'm not really one in one area. I do like Smash, but this is not my game that I'm the, the best in. And maybe one day I'll get there. But right now we're going to jump right into this loser's match between 3PO and Hooded. Um, 3PO, I've seen him. He really sticks to going ahead, confirms off of his banana. Yeah. And a lot of uh, car what is, uh, what's the... Um, the uh, monkey flip. Monkey flip, He's a yeah. monkey flip fiend. Loves it. And... The way that you and you're gonna see it when he be reversals and it seems like he just jerks back in the uh -huh. reverse direction across the screen. Never seen anything. And that's good evidence that it's momentum based, right? Because he's because he's going fast, he just flips. Right. It's crazy. But on the other hand, right. it's not like it's it's that hard to read. No, it's yeah. not. It's not ridiculous. It's just hard to adjust if your character right. is not quick enough. And it seems like Ryu may be a little bit slow, but. The power, gr the power difference in knockback may give Ryu the edge that he needs, and we're just going to see if Hooded can actually go ahead and clutch this out. Hooded going for a really nice uh, Z drop there, and throws out the fair to kind of cover his um, his landing. Still holding on to that peanut. We're getting kind of close to kill percent here. Yeah, monkey flip. It's only going to go ahead and do damage, and 3PO just doing his banana setups, spacing out properly, and Hooded not allowing him to do whatever he wants in center stage, throwing out these bears. At this point, a good down tilt up smash will kill, probably. Mm -hmm. Same thing for Diddy. If he hits a if he hits a grab, uh, down throw down throw to up air, that'll kill as well. Or if he hits any banana confirms into a smash. Yeah. And this is a setup that I've seen uh, three PO wow. use normally, and I'm surprised that he didn't follow through with that. Um, he uh, just, maybe he, he was just stood there and watched as he Yeah, he just wa looked at and it then he like it was his girlfriend. It. Mm. All right, buddy there, returns. There uh, CPO had really, really good setup over there on the uh, on the edge that he was uh, using earlier in the tournament, which is banana mm -hmm. into uh, dare. And it seems like a Ooh, really, I thought we were really gonna see setup. a downer to down air. Mm. Dare. Oh, looks for the bear, but hooded comes out of tumble. Okay. Three PO gonna go ahead and make use of that monkey flip. He's got to keep. He has to keep a banana out. He has to. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, and CPO sh showing Hooded that, look, I can put some shield pressure to you, too. Throwing out the bananas, hitting them with that bear, mm -hmm. and he's, he's actually putting a dent on Ryu's shield. Yeah, but the problem we have here is Diddy's well past kill percent. Yeah. That would have killed him. That, mm -hmm. that would have killed him. Yeah, and Hooded is not a stranger to the, the true Shinshore mm -hmm. Yukin inputs. It seems like, like, like I said, immediately when he gets it out, bam, you're, eating out, you're not eating the regular up B. You're eating out the, the command version that he put, inputs out for that extra 100... Uh, what is it? 1.25 damage that it comes out? I don't or is know. It 1. I know there's more about it. I, I don't know the specifics. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, there was, was a setup so I was talking good. about. Beautiful setup. Banana confirmed. He Z drops it, and in that Z drop, he short hop dares, and it's a really, really nice kill kill setup. One thing that you can do to avoid it is if you're gonna be jumping back onto the ledge, you really want to kind of like DI out towards you know away from the stage. Yeah. That seems that's what I, I had. I got hit by it once. I didn't get hit by it again when I played three PO. But yeah. three uh, uh, Diddy Kong on Mega Man is just—it's like it's not even a, 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 a decision on who's campier. It's I'm gonna get to you and yeah. I'm gonna be extremely aggressive. And as you can see, three PO is like shooting across the stage with those monkey flips like he's a Jedi using four like force <laughs> jumps right now. Look at that! Just, he's just for I have the high ground for you. All right. Oh, Ooh, wow. that was good. That was really, really good. I, Some nice free was, damage. Yeah, if that was a missed tech, could he have con comboed off of that as if that was like a, a jab lock situation? Was that was that a mix? It looked like was that a missed tech? It. Uh, I mean, it was a missed tech, but it didn't seem like three PO could hit early enough when he when yeah. he landed on the top platform. But I have seen a lot of setups where like characters like Little Mac on the stage can co uh, combo from down throw, and you will hit this. You if you land on a platform, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can you can be privy to a ridiculous amount of damage in certain setups that will kill you if you if you miss the tech. But it seems like I don't th I don't think he could have done it in the situation. But right from I, oh. I do think he can get him in a situation like that though. Right, some crazy witchcraft from down from ground to air. It seems like. The, the worst thing you have to worry about from Diddy is just uh, up, uh, uh, up air. It doesn't seem like there's much th that you have to worry about from Diddy from ground to air 
when you're, you know what I mean, you're on a platform yeah, and, and he's well, going back up to meet you. The, the, thing, the thing with Diddy Kong is, is his, his up air isn't nearly as good as it used to be. Mm, um, and so now in, instead of using up air for everything, they kind of um, change up their horizontal position to try and get a bear or a fair. Okay. So like um, sometimes you'll see at, at low percent, like like an up throw to run away, double double jump, back air, back air, or right. something like that. Just because his back air and foyer are just a better tool now. Okay. But the the biggest hazard when landing versus Diddy Kong is the banana. Hmm. Just throw it where they're gonna land and they'll trip. Right. Or if you or if you think they're gonna read that, monkey flip, command grab it. Right. And it seems like C C three PO is making exactly those movements. The other thing that I see that Hooded trying to make the adjustment for is he's like, looks like he's waiting for a oh. 3PO. Oh, beautiful Shoryu. Beautiful. He looks like he's waiting exactly for 3PO to throw the banana yeah. so that he can kind of intercept him at the apex of his jump. And he's he's waiting right there with Fair, and he's waiting right there with Nair just so that he can set up for these, uh, these Shoryuken combos. Right there, there you go. As soon as he's throwing it out, he's, he's looking to meet him so that he can't just go and do exactly what he wants with those banana setups. C-3PO gets a lot of miles out of his down tilt. Oh, yeah. He just keeps, just keep, keeps yeah. clapping him over and over. The other thing that I like that uh, 3PO does is that he's really, really tight with um, his approach. Even though that Hooded is not like allowing him to put him in hit stun by power shielding a lot, 3PO is still just getting in, getting out, and just quick and dirty damage. And then throwing a pop gun out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not being overly aggressive in the situation because just like that right there, he's got to watch out for that Shin Shoryuken. Well, not the Shin Shoryuken, but, you know, the, the Shoryu that's going right. to come out. Looks like we're going to have Blue and Derps playing next. Okay. This is really tense. Put it... It definitely has 3PO in kill percent where he can, where, you know what I mean, where he wants yeah. him. And it seems like, bam, he just, oh. oh, charges the up smash all the way out. I feel like spot dodges never end well. Mm -mm. Oh, Hoodie looking for his uh, his chicken wing set oh. up into, uh, into a spike there from up air. But CPO dodges it, cargo flips back on the stage, gets the banana so in tow, close. back airs him. And now we're back with 3PO's banana set up at the ledge. What's he going to do? Ooh, that was risky. Mm -hmm. He, he could have gotten punished for that. Surely could have. And oh. Shoryu closes out the stock. So close. Really, really nice. Hey, it's great ends here in every single Street Fighter game you can play, so why the hell not use it in Smash? Like, hey, if you're getting in the air, that, that hitbox, it, it seems to have some meat on it mm -hmm. at the top, and the of course, in the beginning, in the middle, like... It'd be horrible if you could chain into it. Like, do you, remember, you know, Third Strike, you could, yeah. like, carry sure you can, like... You hit one, and then if you carry it from like uh, like the sweep from third strike, you can actually hit another one. KL used to do it a ton. I wonder if you can do the exact same thing in this one. Oh my God, that B reversal! <laughs> it's like such a prominent movement. It's just like a ridiculous I jerk know. in the air. Three PO just showing off his Diddy prowess and speed. Going, bam, bear, bear. Now he's going out, switching it up. Throwing out the dare after that down throw. And even though Hooded is not letting the speed just like take him, you know, out of his game, he's just remaining composed mm -hmm. and just throwing out those meaty hits, like right there. Fo focus moves, fares, throwing out uh, tilts, down smash. That's new. Making sure that those really, really heavy moves don't get stale. Yeah. It looks like C three PO is getting a little frustrating. Yeah, it looks like a little frustrating. Because earlier he was flipping across the stage mm -hmm. like he was Spider Man. Now he's just, you know, what I mean, he's staying really close and he's just looking for his banana setups. You know. I wonder, if, oh, I wonder if up throw up air ever actually kills guaranteed. Because it looks like it's so close sometimes. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it actually ever does combo. Another thing that I like about Hooded's playstyle with Ryu, what I really hope, um, I don't know if this is just a staple of just really good Ryu mains, is it doesn't seem like Ryu's great coming from air to ground, yeah. like uh, attacking opponents un underneath Ooh, him. Nice. And so I see Hooded do this a lot in where if he's coming from air to ground, he's uh, focus attack dashing so that this way 
if any attack does hit him on the way down, he's guaranteed to at least absorb one as long as the hit isn't um, a multi-hit. And right. I don't think Diddy really has too many multi-hit moves. Really, really nice setup. I don't think he has any aside from, like, jab. Oh, is it like a cartwheel that he does in there, like Bowser? That's, that's a single hit. Okay. Yep, that's just one hit. I, I'm pretty sure, at least. Mm. But... Uh, Diddy soon to be approaching full rage, so he's going to, I mean, even though Hooded hasn't taken the stock yet, oh, I think that was a missed input yeah. there, looking for the sure you can. Mm, and he's Hooded, gotta be, he's got to be careful with those. Yep. Yeah, Hooded, Hooded's going to have to watch out, because now he's eating a lot more damage than he's probably really looking to take. Um, detail, nice. up throw. Surprised the four throws able to connect. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got to watch wow, out. Monkey nice. Flip is going to take him off guard there and put him back out on the stage. He's really going to have to make a couple more correct guesses here if he wants to continue to stay in this game. Oof. With Diddy at full rage? Wrong. Yeah, there we go. That's why in those situations, don't try and charge it. Right. Just watch him land and then hit him. Ooh. You're right, man. See, that never kills. It doesn't. But it looks like it should. It really should. And uh, maybe well, it's just some of the characters. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see the return to the hoo-ha. Yeah, right. <laughs> But in a day and age where everyone has a hoo-ha. Look, man, I'm just glad. I, wa I wish Mega Man had a hoo-ha. I wish he had something more. What would you than call it? Like Bowser has the Bow Wow. What would you call Mega Man's hoo-ha? I don't think I could call it the rock and roll. Oh, well, that kills. I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. All right. I, it depends on I what you kind of movie it would be. It would probably, like probably be the rock and roll. I mean, it is rock man. The rock and roll? Or I'd probably call it the blue bomber. That's, that's he is the man. blue bomber. I mean, it depends on what he's hitting you with. Like, he really only has... He doesn't have, like, crazy follow-ups from, like, the, the grabs that he already has now. You know what I mean? It's just like, bam, he slams yeah. your face into the ground. It's just like, eh, fair. It's just like, it is a flaming sword. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's just like, the yeah. knockback from it is just, eh. I'll be right back. I got to yep. give Derp some advice. All right. Go ahead. Do your thing.